Hey guys, Josie with Queen My Pawn. Today we're going to learn how to multiply two numbers the easy peasy way. These two numbers, I like to call them binomials because bi means that they're made up of two parts. Um, the nomial part, um, I don't know exactly what it means. It means a name or a term. I just looked it up. So two terms are two items, two names. Like 16 can be broken up into 10 and 6. You got two names, two terms, 10 and 6. Um, but sometimes that's not always the case. For example, you might end up with two things that you can't really uh, combine and here's what I mean um, like for example x plus y you can't um, combine x and y together that's all you, I mean they're it's just not allowed they're two different items they might not even be numbers and that's how it works in higher math anyway um they're just boxes of something now if both of them were numbers you can add them up but you don't know that yet until they tell you x equals five y equals seven then you can add them up and you get 12. but we're not here to learn about that we're here to learn how to multiply binomials so take the number 26 times 24. okay you could do it the FOIL way, which is what I've shown in previous videos, multiplying numbers the FOIL way. Or um, you could do it the easy peasy way, which is 20, wow, it's weird too. 20 plus six, see that's a binomial. 20 plus four, that's another binomial. Here's what you do. 20 times 20 is 400. Six times four is 24. Now you gotta do crisscross. 20 times 4 is 80, and 20 times 6 is 120. This is 200, that's 424, the answer is 624. So that's the answer. Um, so I did that really fast. We can do another one. Um, and I guess I could just um, clear the blackboard. And so let's try another one. Let's say. 36 times 39. Okay, so we break it up into 30 plus 6, that's a binomial. 30 plus 9, that's another binomial. Okay, 30 times 30 is 900. 6 times 9 is 54. Crisscross, you get 30 times 9 is 270. 30 times 6 is 180. This gives you 450, that gives you 954. So that gives you 1404. And so it's really easy to do this once you get the hang of it. You can do mental math like this. All right, so moving on. Let's actually learn about binomials. Now that we know the uh, technique behind this, we can now apply it to uh, algebra. So algebra is the manipulation of symbols in math. For example, they teach you in elementary school that three, to multiply two numbers together, you use X. This looks um, unprofessional in higher level math when X is a variable. Like imagine this, X times Y. That doesn't look right. And it gets very messy very fast. But in college level, like higher level math, like we're talking about when you're actually a math major and you're not taking the general education, college algebra or calculus one, two or three or whatever. Uh, and you're taking something like abstract algebra. Um, this could be a symbol, a circle with an X. Yeah, that could denote multiplication. So. 
So let's say here's the multiplying the binomial part because I went off on a tangent and I forgot where I was going. 3xy plus 6z times 27 plus i squared n. Okay. So multiplying this, you can do it the exact same way I just taught. You would move uh, this right here and put it right at the bottom like this. Let me just fill that blackboard up. Okay. And now you just uh, do this. The first term is just straight down 3xy times 27. That's, I'll write it in red, 81xy. Okay, now you write uh, 6z times i squared n. And, you know, you just do 6z i squared n. Feel free to rearrange that if you want in alphabetical order, although it doesn't really matter. I'll go on higher level block math, it does matter, but not in this case where they're just numbers. Even though we don't know their numbers, but we assume that it is an algebra to keep things simple. Now, we gotta do crisscross. Uh, 3xy times i squared n, that's just 3xy, well, I'm using the wrong red, 3xy times i squared n plus 6z times 27, and that's just, well, you would break it up. So 27 times six, that's 20 plus six, 120, Wait, did I say that right? It's 20 times six is 120. Add that to seven times six, 42, and that's 162. Z, okay, um, that's it, that's the answer. And that's really all that it is, multiplying binomials, the easy peasy way. You can do that for any number. That's how you can do mental math really fast. Uh, feel free to try it out with bigger numbers like 59 times 42. And have fun.